I get asked how to remove backgrounds in DaVinci Resolve, especially if you're using the free version. While there are tutorials out there covering different methods, I'm going to show you the most effective ways, including a killer AI trick that gives you amazing results even on the free version. Stick around because this video is packed with game-changing techniques. All right, let's start with the easiest option, but it's a studio-only feature, the Magic Mask. This is your secret weapon if you have the paid version. Head over to the Fusion tab, add a Magic Mask node to your footage using searching by pressing Shift, plus space and searching for it. Use the ink dropper tool to select your subject, then drag across your subject so Resolve can learn what you want to isolate. Now, in the inspector, change the performance mode to better. This will give you much cleaner edges. Adjust the range slider to fine tune the selection. Around 2030 is often a good starting point. Remember to switch to forward and backward tracking to properly track your subject. This feature intelligently separates your subject from the background, preserving details. Next up, let's talk about the 3D keyer. Perfect for those of you working with green screen or blue screen footage. This method also works with solid color backgrounds. Switch to the Effects tab under Open FX. Add a Delta Keyer node to your footage. Use the eyedropper tool to sample the solid screen color directly in the viewer. You'll see a rough key right away, but we need to clean it up. Okay. Now for the tried and true method, the Polygon Mask. This is available in all versions of DaVinci Resolve, but it requires more manual work. Let's head to the Fusion page. Once inside Fusion, add a Polygon node to the flow. Now, trace the outline of your subject in the viewer with the Polygon tool. This is going to be tedious, but it is also the most precise method for masking. Instead of adding tons of keyframes, focus on the most important ones, the beginning frame, the end frame, and a frame somewhere near the middle. Adjust the shape of the mask at each of these keyframes to follow your subject's motion. DaVinci Resolve will interpolate between these keyframes. After tracing your subject, connect the blue output of the Polygon node directly to the mask input of the Media In node. This will use the Polygon as a mask for your original media. If you're finding this helpful, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. Also, let me know in the comments which method you're excited to try. Now, let's get to the final trick, the one you've all been waiting for. First, in the Edit page, select the clip you want to remove the background from. Right-click the clip and choose Render in Place. Make sure to select an MP4 format with a relatively high bitrate for the rendering settings. Now, head over to Runway ML. Create a free account if you don't have one. Select Remove Background. Upload your rendered clip. Once the clip is uploaded, add multi points to select your character. This helps Runway ML more accurately detect the character and refine the background removal. Next, press the Replace Background button and set the background color to green. Then, download the generated clip with the green background. Now, Import generated clip with the green background into DaVinci Resolve. Then select both the original high quality clip and the new AI green screen clip in the timeline. Right click and select new fusion clip to link the nodes. Now head to the fusion page. Add a Delta Keyer node after the AI green screen clip. Use the eyedropper tool to select the green background in the viewer. Adjust the settings on the Delta Keyer until all of the green is removed from the shot. Connect the output of the 3D Keyer to the blue mask input of the Media In node. This will now use the green screen clip to remove the background of your original high-quality footage. Now, I'm going to zoom in on the viewer. Focus on the edges around my subject. You can clearly see the AI-generated green screen clip helps create a cleaner mask while still utilizing the quality of the original footage. That's the power of this hybrid AI technique. So there you have it, your turn. Let me know in the comments which method you're going to try first. Your feedback is what fuels this channel. If this video saved you hours of frustration, please pay it forward. Hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss next week's tutorial. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.